Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to understand what is onload client script. And we are going to see the demo of onload client script. So what is onload client script? It is one of the type of client script which runs when the form is being loaded or presented to the user. It performs some activities on the form before the form is being presented to the user. Right now, as you can see on the screen, this is a list of incidents. So if we open one of the incident or we create a new incident, then the incident form will load. Before the form is loaded, the onload client script will execute. So if we open one of the incident, let's click on this one. Now, before the form is being presented to us, the onload client scripts executed. And if we go back, And if we create a new incident, we click on new button, then the form is being loaded. And during this time, it is so fast, during this time, the onload client script executed. So if you want to know that what are all the onload client scripts that runs on the table, you can always click on additional actions, then go to configure. And here you will see client script options. Click on it. Once you click on it, you will see all the client scripts which are available on the table incident as well as the task because the incident table extends the task table. Hence, you are seeing the client script which runs on the task table also. As we mentioned that it is one of the type of client script. So in the type, you can see on load. Now, if we filter according to this, right click and show matching. It will give us all the records of onload client scripts which runs when the form of incident is being presented to the user or it is being loaded. So these are all the client scripts which runs when the form is being loaded. Now we are going to create our own client script for the incident form. So let's get to the demo of onload client script. For the demo purpose, what we are going to do is that we are going to make the channel field mandatory state field read only and if the priority of the incident is one critical then we are going to display the message on the form saying this is the critical priority incident okay so we are going to leave this form open and we are going to go back to the incident list of records here we are going to click on columns options from the list view also we can configure the client script for the incident table so we are going to go to the configure and here you will see the client script options. So we are going to click on it. Once we click on it, it redirected us to the client scripts list of records which are associated with incident table as well as the task table. Okay, now we are going to click on new button to create a new client script for the incident table. Now you can see that the client script new record form is loaded. And for the information, if you can notice that the table field is set to incident, UI type field is set to desktop, active checkbox is check, global checkbox is check, application field is read only, there is a message on the form which is being displayed. So you can guess that there is an onload client script which runs on the client script table also. You can always check by clicking on additional actions, configure and client scripts okay because this is also a form which is being loaded to us and it can be possible that there are onload client scripts which were executed when the form is being presented so for now we are going to make the client script for the incident table now we are going to give the name to the client script name will be onload activities okay the type will be you know it it will be on load and if you want you can give the description to the client script so that it will become easier to other developers also what this particular client script does so the description can be like make channel field mandatory make state field read only 
and display message on the form if priority is one critical okay now in the script field we are going to type the script for this particular functionality and in the script field we are going to use g underscore form global object with the help of which we are going to perform all these functionality on the form so if we type g underscore form dot you can see a help box appears and it is listing all the activities that we can perform on the form with the help of g underscore form global object okay now what is our requirement is that we have to make the channel field mandatory state field read only and display the message so let's make the channel field mandatory so we are going to go back g underscore form dot set mandatory this is one of the method that we use with the global object g underscore form which is used to set the field to mandatory and it accepts the field name and the value the field name data type will be string and the value data type will be boolean true or false whether you want to set the field to mandatory or whether you don't want to set the field to mandatory set it to false otherwise set it to true now it accepts the field name the field name we go back this is the label of the field. This is not a field name. So, so the field name is the backend name or the system name. So if we right click on the channel, we are going to see the last option. This is the field name or the backend name or the system name for the channel field. So it's contact underscore type. I'm going to go back, write contact underscore type. Then the Boolean value, it will be true because we have to make it mandatory. After that, we have to make a state field read only. We're going to go back g underscore form dot set read only. This is another method which is also accepting a field name and value. So we are going to pass the field name, go back, check the field name of a state, right click on the field, it is state in lowercase, and set it to true. Okay. And next is we are going to display the message on the form when the priority is one critical. So for that we have to check it whether the priority is one critical or not. So we have to write a if statement if g underscore form dot get value it is accepting a field name it will get the value of that particular field what is the value of that particular field on the form so if we go back and find out what is the field name right click on it it is priority in lowercase so we are going to type priority here okay now we have to compare it to the value okay because it is getting the value of the priority field now what is the value of this Okay, how you can identify what is the value of the priority field right now. So you just have to right click and here it says so choice list because priority field is a choice list. So it will always give one option of what is the choice list for that particular field. So if we do in urgency also right click we will see so choice list. Okay, just like we are going to see for priority. So choice list, click on it and we can see that there are multiple choice lists available. You have to see the table. Table is change request, upgrade history tax and tax. But we are not seeing the incident. But you have to remember the functionality of incident form that incident form extend the tax table. So we have to deal with the tax value only. So we have to so matching. Okay, so these are the correct values for the incident form. Now you can see it is saying this is the label which will be the display value for the form, but the system value or the backend value will be these values. 
as you can see for one critical it is one okay so we are going to go back to the record of our client script and we are going to pass it one so if this is the case then we have to display a message and it will be like g underscore form dot add error message basically this is not an error message for the display format it will be displayed in red color it will be giving information to the user okay this is the one critical priority incident and it has to be solved as soon as possible that's why we are using the add error message you're going to see it once we demo it practically so we're going to type this is critical priority incident okay semicolon and it also identifying missing semicolon okay now we are going to save the client script okay now if we go back to our incident record so the form is loading you can see and you can see that our newly created on load client script is working we can see the display message and we can see the channel field is mandatory but the incident field is not becoming read only but we have set it to read only okay but why it is not happening so this can be the case that there are other things applied on the state which is not letting our own load client script to run now this is the task for you if you want to perform Try these activities on your personal developer instance. See if the same output comes on your developer instance. Write it down in the comment section that it is the same thing that uh, what we have seen on the demo that state field is not becoming read only. Find out why it is not becoming. Okay. Write it down the answer in the comment. Now, if we go back to our client script, we can see there are fields like UI type, inherited. So, what does it mean? UI type means user interface type. What will be the user interface type when this particular onload client script will run? Right now it is set to desktop, means it's going to run on this particular ServiceNow platform. That is the desktop view for it. Okay. If you want to run this particular client script on mobile as well as the service portal user interface also, then you can select all. Otherwise, if you want to just execute for mobile and service portal only, then you can always select this option that is mobile slash service portal. There can be a requirement like you have to write an on load client script which has to run only for desktop and which has to run only for service portal and the form will be incident only. So you can use this particular field. You can write one on load client script for desktop which will work in this user interface which you are seeing on the screen and other you can write on mobile and service portal and that onload client script will not run in this user interface it's going to run only in mobile and service portal user interface but if you want to run one onload client script on both the user interface then you can always select all okay so this was the functionality of ui type field now what is inherited means if we select this checkbox and suppose you created a custom table which extend the incident table okay then this particular onload client scripts it's going to be inherited by that custom table okay so this client script will also be the part of that particular custom table for example in case of incident the incident extend the tax table and if we click on additional actions and go to configure and go to client scripts we were able to see the client script which are applicable on the tax table also okay but we have to see for incident only why we are seeing for tax table also because the incident table extend the tax table if we open any one of the client script which are applicable on table tax then we are going to see that if we open one of this then you can see that the inherited checkbox is check okay so this client script is on tax table and the inherited checkbox is selected and incident table is extending the tax table and that's why we are seeing the client scripts record of tax table in the incident also because 
it has been inherited by the incident table also okay so this is the functionality of inherited field this was the end of the video so we have seen how onload client script works and how it is created in service now if you have any doubts any suggestions for the new videos write it down in the comment section share this videos with others thank you for watching this video bye bye